Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tibby from Vector Boom Games. And today we are going to continue our Elder Scrolls Online versus World of Warcraft comparison. Uh, specifically taking a look at communities and toxicity or the lack thereof. Now before we continue, I just want to preface that all of this is based on my personal experience. I have, I think, 160 or 170 hours uh, in Elder Scrolls, so it's not that much. I'm clearly a new player, but uh, all of these will be on personal experiences, uh, both here and in WoW. So, communities, right? It's a very important aspect in any MMO, like the social aspect of any game could either make or break the game in many cases and for many people you know it really depends on your on your preference but let's take a look at world of warcraft now i have played that extensively like 10 plus years and from personal experience i feel like there are two like separate bubbles the entire community lives in so there's this one bubble that we could call like the elitist bubble uh, these will be players uh, who have been in the game for like 12, 13, 14 years. They will be part of like the top end raiding guilds. And uh, you won't really meet these people like randomly in the world, like in dungeons or, or mythics or uh, raids. Because um, all the activities they're going to do will be, in, uh, will be kept in like a tight knit uh, community and a tight knit group. Uh, all the uh, like dungeons and mythic dungeons or raids or everything will be done with that specific group because it's a well-organized group. Uh, they kind of know each other and it just makes sense to run all the activities within that group for a higher success chance. Now, of course, you will meet a couple of these just randomly throughout the world, but these players will never be uh, the type of people that are like willing to help. Uh, they know the game very well and they will not really tolerate uh, new players messing up in dungeons or messing up in raids or stuff like that, not having a highly optimized uh, playstyle and character in their mind, you know, in their eyes with all the experience they have uh, is just it's just not gonna fly. So right off the bat, you are kind of disqualified and disheartened to uh, even try that type of content in case you kind of meet a few of these people like back to back it's uh, it's a pretty shitty feeling you know not uh, not accepting that you are a new player you're here to to learn and after all you know it's a game uh you do this for enjoyment you do do this for fun and you're never gonna you know want to log in to have a bad time right that just doesn't make sense so this is one bubble. Now the other bubble is like the random player, casual, pleb, whatever, uh, which I think the vast majority is, right? So I've been in, uh, in top rating guilds, uh, in, in like mythic progression guilds. I've done that, but um, it, just, it just wasn't for me because uh, my personal schedule does not really allow me to dedicate four or five maybe six hours a couple of days a week uh, especially for raiding because uh, the, the raids in World of Warcraft are really demanding especially like the high-end raids the, the mythic and the heroic raids um, you know you're gonna wipe on bosses so many times and you really have to be prepared to put in the hours and just stay there and try and try and try for several hours at a time until you manage to get the achievement and get the boss down and stuff like that so if you don't have the necessary time a couple of days a week uh, these guilds won't really want you so uh, I would say I was a casual player overall now as a casual player in the world, in dungeons, well, I mean, let's be realistic, not in the world, because uh, in World of Warcraft, you don't really meet people in the world that you will actually interact with, because all the activities you do, you can just do them solo, or like the vast majority of it. So uh, mainly in dungeons or, or raids, and like random bugs, uh, you would meet all these casual, all these random players, right? And um, I think the toxicity level in that bubble is is super high now they are either uh veterans who don't really care at this point to help out new players because why would they 
uh, they know everything in the game, they know all the systems, they know all the boss fights, all the dungeon fights, all, everything, you know? And if you mess up, oh man, a whole world of pain is just gonna rain down on you. Firstly, you will most likely get kicked from the dungeon just right off the bat. Uh, you maybe accidentally pull something. Now, I'm not talking about like the hunter, uh, you know, ninja pulls. No, just, you know, maybe you randomly pull a few mobs. Um, if you are the only one doing that and you have four other people, four seasoned people in there, you're just gonna get kicked. Like, there's, there's nothing you can do or say. You are just straight up gonna get kicked. So that's, that's the first, like, really shitty feeling, right? Then there's the other problem with the gear check. Let's say you are kind of progressing. Um... Every mythic dungeon kind of has a minimum item level requirement. It's like a soft requirement. Whenever a new expansion launches, people will do that type of content with much less gear, like really shitty gear, and they get through it just fine. But as, uh, as time goes on, the requirements will get higher and higher. So as a new player, it will be much, much more difficult to get into that type of content without having... A ridiculously high item level even though you are not required to do that but since you know these are pugs and these people have sank in so many hours to try and get the, the best possible gear they can they will have the same expectations from you to also have that gear so you know it's like it's like a job hunt right uh, you get out of college and you want to get hired but you can't get hired because you don't have experience now how do you get the experience if no one is willing to hire you, right? It's, it's kind of the same. And all of these layers of requirements and expectations and everything uh, put on top of each other just creates a, a very, very toxic and unforgiving and unkind community. Now, this is for WoW. An ESO is just is just vastly different it has a very very different community not exactly sure why but i do have a few theories uh which we will discuss but uh the eso community is very very welcoming to uh new players and that is just that's just a great feeling uh whenever you hop into the game and there are just random nice people that you can meet like randomly across the world in dungeons in delves in you know solo activities anything even in like global chat or or local chat you just find people very willing to uh help uh which is just mind-blowing i mean coming from wow and then seeing this drastic change is is astonishing i i absolutely love it let's take random dungeons because uh the elder scrolls has quite a few dungeons uh, to go through and you do have the LFG the the group finder uh, just like in WoW and with any of these LFGs you know the system itself will work the same way you just queue up you get paired with random people and that's that you uh, you begin the activity so you would think that the chances are you will undoubtedly uh, meet a lot of toxic people but it's just it's just not the case at least in my personal experience I have met mostly positive and nice people. Of course, you know, every basket will have a few rotten apples. That's just to be expected because it is the internet. But there's an overwhelming amount of, of positive and patient people, which is very rare and odd for an online game. Now, again, I don't think it was just me or my luck because uh, in these random dungeons, People can clearly see if you are new or not, because there's the uh, champion point system. So I can clearly see when I, whenever I go in, uh, okay, this guy is like champion point 600. So he's been playing for quite a while and uh, I'm, I'm almost sure that he did this dungeon a bunch of times. And even these people uh, that can see that I am a new player because I don't have uh, the uh, the champion points displayed well I mean I did reach champion point 160 on my other character, but that's neither here nor there 
um, even when I didn't have any champion points, I would still be treated very nicely. Uh, people saw that I'm new. Most of them were extremely patient. I could mess up. They would tell me, okay, you kind of did this wrong. So next time try to, you know, dodge this or, or do that or stuff like that. But it was all constructive criticism. It was just uh, everything was in a very friendly and, and helpful manner. Also in ESO, especially if you're new, you are going to uh, take your, your sweet ass time in dungeons because you're going to go at least that's what I do. Uh, I go through every like crate and, and little backpacks and sacks and whatever you find through the dungeons, uh, hoping to get something neat out of those. And uh, that takes time. Even if people rush ahead of you, because, you know, again, champion points, they already did this. They kind of know uh, if you can or can't get anything good, or maybe they already gotten that. Uh, most of them were still patient enough to wait for me and let me explore the dungeons and these little like trinkets and stuff, which was an outstanding feeling. I just couldn't really comprehend how are these two game universes so vastly different? Why are these people so patient while the World of Warcraft players are just not. Uh, now I do have a theory, maybe it's because some people in World of Warcraft have been playing like 13, 14 years and they're really fed up with trying to help uh, someone new. Maybe it's because the age of the overall uh, World of Warcraft community is much more uh, mature, but Again, that wouldn't really make sense because a mature player would have better judgment, I would think. Uh, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, let's uh, let's get on to the to my next point. Now, even the YouTube comments that I get on all these videos, and by the way, I appreciate each and every comment, and I try to respond to as many as humanly possible. But even those are are extremely positive, and the vast majority of these will come from actual ESO players. So it kind of ties in together with the game community itself and the comments are kind of a reflection of the ESO community itself because I would bet that at least 70% of all the comments came from people that uh, actively play or have played uh, ESO and I guess the, the other one are just from people that play WoW and kind of say a bunch of messed up stuff looking at you really weird comments uh, but again uh overwhelmingly positive uh feedback positive comments and that's the eso community in a nutshell all right so i just wanted to include this real quick while filming this video a comment just came in on one of the previous videos where voxicity said welcome to eso enjoy your stay thumbs up so this is this is like a prime example and thank you Voxicity for uh, kind of proving my point that ESO does have a wonderful community and the vast majority of the comments I get on these YouTube videos are most likely from uh, from ESO players. So um, again Voxicity if you're out there thank you so much for the comment really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for proving my point. All right, so these were kind of my thoughts and experiences with the community of the Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, with you guys, the viewers of these videos and the comments uh, I get in that. And then also with the community of World of Warcraft, uh, which again, I have spent a lot more time in that game than in ESO. But as a new player, I can just guarantee almost anyone that uh, you will have a, a great, great experience. Um, if you are kind of hesitant to try out a new MMO, simply because you had a horrible experience in, in any other game, I would confidently say that you will have a, a good time. You can find yourself a home, quote unquote, uh, in this game because everybody is, is really, really helpful. Um, you will have a few rotten apples, as I said, but overall, it's it's maybe one of the best communities out there, and I'm super happy to be a part of this. Now, after all these discussions, I am extremely curious what you guys think 
and uh, what you guys have experienced uh, either in Elder Scrolls Online or World of Warcraft. Uh, maybe you've played them both. Maybe you noticed a big difference between these two. So please share your thoughts uh, in the comments below because I'm very curious if it's just my pure luck that made me feel so welcome and met so many helpful people or is this a general and well-known fact and the most of you had the same experiences i'm really curious to, to find out more about this but again thank you so much for watching i very much appreciate all the support the channel has gotten um this video is more like a talk it's it's almost like a podcast as always i just want to share my uh, thoughts and experiences as a new player of the elder scrolls online again about 160 170 hours put into the game so i am a, a very new player uh but really really positive experiences overall uh in all my videos you can check out the uh the previous videos and uh everything is just is just good in this game it's not a perfect game but it's it's a damn good one with that being said thank you so much for sticking with me if you want to see me live and interact i do stream on twitch in the weekends link below and until next time have a fantastic adventure either inside or outside tamriel bye